Hey folks, Quill18 here, and I am finally back from all my travels. We had a break for the holidays, followed by me being overseas for a couple of weeks, but I am back and eager to get back to our Unity tutorials, which I have been prepping for throughout this trip. We are going to be doing Project Mighty Spud. This actually came as a request from a viewer named The Mighty Spud, who uh, has sponsored a series of videos for a particular idea. Most notably, I guess, I guess one way to describe this idea would be no Man's Sky, how hard could it possibly be to make ourselves? What we are going to be doing is exploring the Unity Terrain Engine, how we can generate terrain dynamically on the fly using the built-in terrain engine from various image data sources, which may be pre-generated images. For example, this is a topographical map of the moon, uh, but we could also investigate the idea of procedurally generating these maps as well. But more importantly, we're gonna be using those image maps to feed data into the Unity terrain system, um, as well as working on the very tricky problem of converting from these sort of like spherical coordinates that you would find for like a planet into the cylindrical coordinate system, which is used by a lot of these image maps, into more of a sort of flat planar coordinate system of you just walking around and needing X, Y, and Z coordinates for your 3D modeling, and the very tricky problem of transitioning from the surface of the planet to space and back. Again, sort of a, a Kerbal Space Program or No Man's Sky or that sort of uh, problem that comes up because in those games, when you're in space, the planets are just represented as, yeah, these spheres basically, but as you get close, it converts into a more terrain-based approach and how can we possibly solve that problem? So we're gonna be kicking this off with a live stream actually. It's going to be on Saturday. January the 21st, Saturday, January the 21st at noon Eastern time, which is my normal time for a Saturday live stream. We are going to be doing a Unity programming screen, of course, sponsored by the lovely people at Patreon who support all this and get us to do a uh, once monthly programming stream. This will probably be a longer one than normal. What we're going to try to do is just tackle the problem uh, first of, hey, how do we work with the Unity terrain system? Um, well, I mean, we'll explore sort of the built-in tools, but more notably, we will look into to what's involved in creating terrain on the fly, uh, particularly using an image that provides us with height map data, um, potentially even more information like normals and so on and so forth. We'll see exactly how far we get in Saturday's stream. As always, we'll be trying to address as many questions as possible. After that stream, I will then be starting to make videos on this topic as we approach something that will let us, um, to start off with, phase one of Project Mighty Spud is, uh, for me, the ability to, um, land and take off from a pl uh, planet and have this transition from this ground-based terrain mode into a space-based just sphere representation of our planet and try to have that go as seamlessly as possible. Although in many games, including I believe No Man's Sky, they sort of mask the transition a bit by like throwing up some clouds and stuff like that just to sort of um, in case there would be any sort of clip or, or popping between one and the other. So we'll see what kind of tricks we can use to make it look as, as smooth as possible. Um, and see what we can do. After that, there's actually quite a few more questions and, and things that uh, the Mighty Spud has asked us to look at. So uh, this uh, tutorial will be extended to a few different things, but the base of it, the start of it, is certainly gonna be this idea, which other people have asked me about in the past. How do we get this sort of space system where you can be flying around a spaceship, see a spherical planet, and then land on it and have proper terrain? Because you can't really, you don't just wanna go and start like tessellating the sphere or doing something like that. Also, you don't wanna work with like, sort of really wonky sideways coordinate systems, it really is gonna be a lot better if um, if when you're walking around on the planet, you get your sort of normal expectations for X, Y, Z kind of stuff. But uh, well, we'll see what we can figure out as we go on. So again, it's gonna start off this Saturday, uh, the 21st of January at noon Eastern time. Check the description box down below. There'll be a countdown timer, regardless of your time zone. Obviously there's a um, several days, I'm putting up this video on Monday, so there's several days lead time here. But I want to let you all know that uh, the program tutorials are coming back uh, soon and what that's going to be. Um, I'm still working on some prep work for these series and I thought the best way to start it would be a live stream um, rather than, you know, throw up a couple of random videos and then do a live stream on Saturday. I thought it would be a lot stronger if we just start with the stream and we're going to be able to address a few more questions as we go. So this is not actually going to be what we're creating on the live stream. We're going to be working on, on terrain stuff, but I thought it looked cool for the, uh, for the video. So here you go. It's a moon. It's a pretty sweet moon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you on Saturday.